Leo, what's up? Welcome to my channel. Am I tripping or not? Tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. I'm here to do a general love reading for February. I'm not going to say through the 1st, through the 15th and all that other shit because a motherfucker don't know when she going to put the next love reading out. So I'm just going to say for the month of February, I got y'all, right? Just so you know, I do start all my cards upright in my deck. I don't believe in starting out with reversals because that's some bullshit. Also, I pre-shuffle and then lay the cards out just to get an idea of what's going on. This may or may not resonate with every single Leo, Leo excuse me, if it doesn't, oh, the fuck well, okay? I do cuss in my videos, so if you got a problem with that shit, get the fuck on, okay? Info for private readings will be below the video. So, off the top, Leo, I ask, what does this person think about Leo? We got the world card with the three of wands here that came out with the main male. Got the ace of swords. I wanted to only clarify the one card, but two came out. Five of cups reversed with the seven of wands. And that came out with the official person and occupation. Then you got the nine of swords with the ten of pentacles with the privileged lady. Six of cups and house. Off top, Leo, you could be dealing with uh, another fire sign such as yourself, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. I see Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces out here, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Okay? Is that everybody? I don't know. Anyway, let's get to the reading. So, how this person is thinking about you right now, Leo? What was this like that? Okay. Somebody, you or them, Leo, I don't know. Somebody is realizing in this relationship that they were the ones like that were putting in all the fucking work. Like this shit was a farce and shit. Dude, literally while I was putting these damn cars down, I heard that Not Gonna Cry song by Mary J. Blige. That, well, I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. Right, that one. Wait and exhale, not gonna cry. That is the theme song for this fucking reading right now is what I keep hearing. Somebody is like officially turning their back on this shit. Usually they say the three of wands is manifesting, but with the world, somebody was like, no, I'm not going to cry. I, right. You know, like when you want to cry and shit, but you turn around and hold that shit in. Like, I do not want this motherfucker to see me crying. I'm going to stay strong with this main male shit. You or them, Leo. I don't know. But somebody's putting up a brave face because it's like they, they put enough. They did enough. You know what I mean? They're like realizing like I was the backbone of this shit, right? I'm the whole reason for the season in this motherfucker, right? You or them, Leo. Somebody's realizing like without them that this other person would be nothing. They would not be where they are. None of that shit, right? I'm the official person. You wasn't shit. I was holding it down this whole time. First, this person was sad about that. I don't know if you guys were well, apparently shit. Motherfucker separating this shit. But I feel like at first, if you or them, Leo, somebody was sad about this shit. That's why I'm saying I keep hearing not going to cry. And now they're like, fuck it. What the fuck am I crying for? You know what I mean? Why would I be sad? I put this whole shit together. Like, let me figure out how to take back what's mine is what I'm getting, right? Same shit. Nine of swords, ten of pentacles. Well, I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to cry, right? While well, all the time that I was loving you, you were busy loving yourself, right? Like she said, what was it? Um, I was your lover and your secretary. Basically, what I'm picking up is like what Medea said. Everything in here, half of everything in here belongs to her, right? Coming in with the chainsaw on this bitch. Somebody's realizing like, no, actually, I didn't really lose out. I am the, still the privileged lady and I'm going to figure out how to get mine, right? Somebody's about to get what they deserve out of this relationship, whether it's the assets, half of everything, whatever the fuck it is. The house with the six of cups came up, right? Four of wands, six of cups. Somebody's splitting up some shit, right? Somebody is realizing that they are owed some shit in this relationship. You or them, Leo. This relationship has been longstanding. I feel like y'all have accumulated bank accounts, money. Um, you know what I mean? Like things, material things, houses, shit like that. Like there's things that need to be separated. And at first somebody thought that they were just shit out of luck, right? When this relationship split up, like now what the fuck am I going to do? But somebody realized you or them, Leo, like, I know what the fuck I'm going to do. Motherfucker half of everything in this bitch is mine. Like, I know what I'm going to do. What are you going to do? Right? That's what somebody's thinking. Somebody's no longer sad about the shit because they realized that they were Angela Bassett and waited to exhale. Like, oh no, motherfucker, I'm about to get you, right? You the motherfucking improper influence, John, right? <laughs> Sorry for laughing, Leo, let me stop. Um, anyway, how's this person view you, Leo? Hierophant, could be dealing with the Taurus. Committed, shit. Dedicated, the star. Sh 
strength could be, oh shit, this is you, ain't it? Yep, there you are. That's you. They're viewing you in your power, Leo. Could be dealing with another Leo or an Aquarius. Two of Wands. Like I said, I feel like you made a decision to like, I rock rough and stuff with my Afro puffs. Hey, right? I feel like you made a decision to choose you. Like, this my world, motherfucker. You know what I mean? I hope you put this shit like in the fruition. You think you're going to take everything from me? Right? This definitely is not for everybody. I feel like somebody is like about to get raw, right? Somebody's about to be like, uh, what's his name? Omar Epps and Tupac on the roof. Like, motherfucker, you got the juice now. You know what I mean? Like, shit about to flip around here. One on the Hierophant. This is how they view you. Somebody stood up, basically. Somebody stood up. Seven of Swords came out with this Hierophant card for how they view you, Leo. So it's like you about, like I said, you about to get rough and tough with your Afro Puffs. Rage, rock on with your bad self, right? Basically, the good Leo is gone, has left the building. Savage Leo is in the house, right? 21 Savage is what this Seven of Swords is right here. Bless his little deported heart, right? Um, that's what's going on here. They watch Leo just flip. Like, you know what I mean? Because like I said, Leo was sad or you or them, Leo, don't know. But somebody in this relationship was sad about the ending of it. You know what I mean? Like, how am I going to get by? We built so much up together, blah, 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 blah. Then somebody snapped into it after they realized, like, you know, and got out that whole sad, I'm a loyal wife, husband, committed partner, whatever. They're like, you know what? Fuck this, Seven of Swords. I'm about to get mine. I'm about to take what's mine out this commitment because I helped bring this motherfucker to where he is, basically. So somebody's coming for that number one spot, <laughs> basically, in my ludicrous voice. Ten of swords with the, with the star. Like I said, somebody done totally flipped the fucking script. You might as well be a fucking Gemini, Leo, right now. You or them. Whoever this is went from good guy to bad guy, right? Same thing. Hierophant, good guy, seven of swords, bad guy. Like, you want to see the bad Leo? Like, they wanted to literally see you rip the carcass apart. Like, everybody's heard of a lion eating people and shit, but ain't nobody ever actually saw a seen a lion eat somebody. This person is viewing you, Leo, as somebody, like, they're watching the lion eat somebody. Look, I'm false person came out with the Hierophant and the Seven of Swords. This person can't even believe the person that they seeing right now, Leo. Like I said, 21 Savage, whoever it is, you or them. Somebody has totally flipped their whole personality, but it's because they were pushed. Somebody pushed the dog into a corner and the dog start biting. And now somebody's like, what? I didn't know he had teeth. Like, motherfucker, it's a lion. <laughs> okay? Distant Horizons came out with the star and the ten of swords. Let's put another one out here. One with the distant horizons. Pathway. Like I said, this person went up. I'm telling you, this person just went down a whole nother. It's almost like they flipped. Like, I don't know this person. They were this, like, star, healer, nice, calm, divine, lead partner, soulmate, all that shit. They were that, Leo or Crosswatcher, till they got fucked over in this relationship. And you try to take everything from a motherfucker and leave them like this here, this Ten of Swords. So, yeah, they did have to go down this road. You know what I mean? This is a motherfucker that went in the mirror and started rubbing paint, black paint all over their face and pulled the ski mask down. Like, okay, motherfucker, you want to play with me? Okay, let's do this. Let's do this like Brutus. This is how they see you, Leo, like you just flipped the script on they ass. You just got dead presidents on they ass. One on the strength card, one on the two of wands. How's this person view Leo? This person feels like you totally no switch, like flip the switch, Leo, like totally. Look, from mature woman to bad health, you know what I mean? Like you were like this. Leo used to be so tamed and so nice with the mature woman and the strength. Always, you know, so nice and strong and eager and courageous and all like they, this person had their own like a uh, idea of how you are leo and that's probably why they thought they could take advantage of you or just leave you out in the cold you or them leo somebody and shit like shit was just all gucci if you know what i mean if i fuck over leo like they'll be all right right so they saw leo start eating the fucking carcass this is when the lion started eating the carcass that two of wands back there he wasn't eating the carcass shit was cool he switched and then he showed you what the fuck a lion really can do. You know what I mean? With that world. It's like, no, motherfucker, I'm in my element. I'm in the jungle. Shit can get real bad. Bad health around this motherfucker. I'm going to show you what, th what this lion do. Right? Somebody brought out the beast and the Leo, basically, is how they're viewing them. I mean, they didn't really, they don't feel like they brought out the beast and the Leo, but the beast has been released, right? The beast has been released in this Leo. You or them, Leo. Somebody is showing themselves in their true nature after being taken advantage of and like, being made to look like a fool or being made to, to think that they were a fool, 
You know what I mean? But somebody snapped out that shit real quick, like looked in the mirror like, motherfucker. <laughs> like I always say when people get Jamaican, do you know who the fuck I am? Right? That's who this person is now. They straight flipped the script. And they about to get medieval on somebody's fucking ass. I'm just telling you, Leo or Crosswatcher. Okay? Let's see how this person feels about you, Leo. How's this person feel about Leo? Page of Wands, right? Could be a Leo Aries, Sagittarius. That just could be you, Leo. The fool. Like I said, you about to get wild, medieval on that ass. Like, this is like everybody in the zoo when the fucking lion gets out. And it's like, if you run or if you stand still, which one is it? You know what I mean? Like, you just don't even know how to move. You don't even know. You just know you need to do something for you get that ass bit. I feel like they feel like this Leo is like kind of in wait a little bit. Like, you know what I mean? Like there's <laughs> like they're just laying in wait is what I feel like. How they feel is like they would like for this shit to just be amicable and you guys just start the fuck over and get back to a healthy place and shit. But I feel like it's way past that. I don't even know what happened. I don't feel like anybody was cheating or nothing. I feel like something happened to where it was like somebody just decided they didn't want to be in this relationship anymore for whatever reason. Could be a third party, but... The energy I'm picking up on is the person that they're leaving behind is about to come into some fucking money because they just realized, like, no, motherfucker, if you're going to leave me, you're going to leave me with this shit, with everything in this motherfucker, how they feel. Like I said, they'd rather just have a new start. You or them, Leo. Somebody would rather just start all over. Like, can we not just do this and start all over? It's kind of bugging me that this person wants to be this way now, but it wasn't until Leo or Crosswatcher figured out that half of everything this motherfucker owned belonged to them too. So now motherfucker want to work it out. Like, you know what? We can make this work. Like, now we can, motherfucker, now that you know my name on half this shit, right? Basically, one on the fool. Nine of Cups, right? With the fool. Somebody's like, I know what I'm due when I'm old. You know what I mean? I actually don't fucking need you. I feel like somebody came up with some like legal advice and was like, what? That shit belongs to me? This is what I'm really feeling. Because this fool and this Nine of Cups is going towards this Ace of Wands, this new beginning. And then the other person, Leo, which could be you, is heading towards the house. It's like they're going in separate ways. Like, so one person is like, I want to fix this shit because, like, the whole it's cheaper to keep her thing. And the other person is like, actually, I'm good with the whole separation thing that you initiated in the first place because I end up happy and I end up with shit. So now it's like it, the roles have reversed. Like the person that originally wanted to be separated doesn't want to be separated anymore. And the person that didn't want to separate is cool with that shit. They cool with that shit. Told you the person that wanted to leave five of pentacles now wants to come back with this six of wands. It's cheaper to keep her. They ain't coming back because they love them. They coming back because it's like, damn, if I leave and I got alimony and child support, I might as well just fucking stay here. Is what this person is thinking, how they're feeling about you, Leo, or you're feeling about them one or the other four of wands but the other person's like bitch i'll make more money with the alimony and the child support you know what i mean and getting half of this shit than staying with your motherfucking ass so actually you can go four pinnacles with the four of so i mean four pinnacles with the four of wands is up here for how they feel about you like i said they want to hold on five of pinnacles went to the four of pinnacles now the fuck they want to come home and act like a good husband wife lover, friend, spouse, whatever the fuck they were in this situation. Now they want to put some act right on it, right? Now they want to ding, 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 sprinkle some act right all on that shit. But it wasn't until Leo, you or the cross watcher figured out how to like, you know what I'm saying? Get they ass for whatever it is that they owe you. Like I said, it could just be houses, shit y'all bought together that you got to split up and they realizing that they're losing out when they get a divorce, you know what I'm saying? Or y'all separate, like they end up losing. So they're like, why am I doing this? It's a business transaction now for this person why they want to come back. One on the page of wands, ace of wands. Family room, that shit wanted to come out a second ago. Somebody wants, they feel like they just want to start over, right? It's this one person. It could be you, Leo, you or them. Somebody wants to start this shit over because it's cheaper to keep the other person. I'm going to keep it so 100. That's what the fuck is going on here, okay? That's why they want to come back. One on this, six of wands, five of pentacles, knight of swords. Courthouse, like I said, it's cheaper to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her. Five of pentacles with the knight of swords. Motherfucker rushing back in and trying to save this marriage. Not because they're in love. Ain't no, it's only this cup out here, which is greed. I want to keep what's mine. You know what I mean? I ain't trying to lose shit. 
Because if I leave or separate and shit, I'm going to lose shit. I'm going to lose what's mine, says one person. The other person's like, motherfucker, please do leave, bitch, because then I'll get what's mine. It's like two people basically are being greedy at this point. Like, I want what's mine. And the other person's like, I want what's mine. But one person can't get what's theirs until they leave, right? Until they get a divorce or separate. And the other person can't keep what's theirs if they do leave or separate. So it's like two people wanting their money and their assets, but they can't keep it together. You know what I mean? Like they have to be, one has to be separate to get it. And the other one has to be with the other person to keep it. The coffin came out for the four of wands and the four of pentacles. So yeah, it's all about stability and how one person will lose it and how one person will gain it. Right. In this relationship, this shit is like a fucking like monopoly game. This is like a battleship and shit. Like, you know what I mean? It's like real strategic. You motherfuckers is putting pegs and shit. Like, if I go here, then she'll go there. Then he'll go here. Like, what the fuck is going on here? <laughs> courtship. Like I said, if one person leaves, right, with the fool in the courtship, they get what they want. If one person stays, they get what they want. Neither one of these people are going to get what they want being together. Only one person is going to be happy when they're together and one person is going to be happy if they are separated. This fucking story is crazy as fuck. It's making my fucking head hurt, just so you know. But that's what's going on. And you see this shit all the time with, like, people separating and getting in relationships and shit. And, like, how they always say, well, we stayed for the kids and all. That's what all this bullshit is. You know what I mean? Trying to figure out what the best avenue is in this relationship. But it's all about money. There could be kids involved with the Six of Cups and this Ten of Pentacles and shit here, but then it'll be like, okay, well, the dad is going to stick around because he doesn't want to pay child support. So at least if he's here and just, you know what I mean, pays the bills like he normally did, that's not no extra money out of his pocket. If it's the other way around and say the mom is leaving the dad, she's like, fuck, if I leave Ted and shit, we got four kids. Like four times 700 a month carry the two up in this motherfucker. Like that's $3,000. Like I ain't never got to work again in this bitch. And I get the house and the Volvo. Like, so it's, that's what I mean. It's like two different people with two different agendas and shit, but they both are being selfish about what it is that they're like doing it for. Crazy as fuck, y'all. I don't know, Leo. Whew. Okay, anyway, that's been your February love reading. This may or may not have resonated if it didn't give a fuck. But thank you still for visiting my channel and my trippin' or not tarot. My name is Cockfrost, but you could call me the ghetto nun. Please hit like, subscribe, share with your friends, and I will talk to you later. Love you, bye!